Hey what's up guys, I'm Arunav Chaudhary and WWDC just got over and we are going to talk about some of the biggest announcements from WWDC. So let's get started. This year's WWDC was more hardware focused than software focused. So I'm going to talk about hardware right now. So the first news that we get is that Apple has updated all the Mac lineup with Intel 7 Gen KB like processors. So you can expect to see an update in the current Mac lineup all across the board. The second news was the one which I didn't see coming at all, the iMac Pro and when it launched, I was shocked because it looked so amazing, the matte black color. I don't know why Apple doesn't it more often with the Mac lineup because the white has gone pretty stale according to me and this iMac Pro is not just about looks, it's all about the specs. And this thing is really a pro when it comes. It has the Xeon processors, ECC memory, and you know, all that kind of stuff you might be seeing right now on the screen. You can see all the specs. You can pause and look at the specs right now. And this thing is, you can see, it's pretty good. It's pretty powerful. It's quite powerful. The iMac wasn't the only hardware that was launched at this conference. There was an update to iPad Pro, and many of us predicted that and there will be a 10.5 inch iPad Pro which will be released or launched or spoke about in WWDC and it was. So again, it's a 10.5 inch iPad with A10X chip, pretty powerful, pretty good, nothing much ahead of that. I still am confused how do you target consumers for iPads in 2017 and the biggest news I think so that everyone was talking about after the conference or everyone will be talking about after the conference is the home pod so yes the competitor for google's assistant hub and amazon alexa is now the home pod and it is again a wireless speaker which has siri and it is they talked quite a lot about how they have integrated apple music into it it has the apple's a8 chip so i'm not sure about what chips Google Hub has or Amazon Alexa has but that's a pretty powerful chip. So guys that's all about hardware let's talk about the software side of WWDC and we start with iOS 11. So we had a lot of expectations from iOS 11 we thought it was going to again change everything about iOS redesign re more features more power and we got some of that. Okay, uh, there were some refinements to uh, the current features of the Apple iOS devices like the control bar has now got only a single page rather than those two page control bar and the multitasking on iPad has improved quite a bit so you can get multi windows on your iPad. Also the dock of iPad now you can add more apps on it if you want and they have integrated Apple Pencil into the OS of the iPad which was expected to be done pretty soon enough. And there are some more tweaks and refinements that you might notice when you finally get the update and you might appreciate when you finally get the update. Other than that, there isn't much more redesign to the whole OS and it isn't exactly what I expected. It isn't exactly what I wanted. As 10 I felt that it quickly aged and it was quite stale by this time and yes there are some refreshments to it in iOS 11 but it's still not the OS that I wanted it to be. But the main focus of WWDC was on machine learning, AR and VR. So in machine learning they showed that how the iOS is now capable of learning our, all about us by how we use the device, how we interact with the device, what you might see some suggestions about like if I am searching about a place in Iceland, it might suggest some news about Iceland or an article about Iceland. So Apple wanted to show off how Mac can handle some graphically intensive stuff. So they brought someone from Lucas visual effects team to put on a VR headset and create a Star Wars scene and I was amazed when it happened. And like woman walks into a green screen, recreates all of the Star Wars scenery right around, you can see TIE Fighters, you can see the whole landscape, you can see some ships 
and you can obviously see Darth Vader and that was really really awesome. The second one which was my favorite was the AR. They brought some guys from Peter Jackson's company. I'm not sure about what is the name of that. It will be right here if I can find it. But they showed how they are recreating a whole scene about some aliens fighting cowboys and that was so amazing to see and gave me some hope that there will be a future in AR gaming that is not just Pokemon Go. So guys that is all for this video. I only talked about the stuff that I was interested in and the stuff I thought you might be interested in. But if you're feeling curious enough, I will leave a link down below to the entire live stream and also to the Apple website so you can check that out. But hope you guys like this video. Make sure to hit a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.